definition of an inverse. The video about inverse variation discussed a multiplicative inverse that would combine through multiplication to create the identity as a number, one. Similarly with functions, we will use an inverse function of an f to create an identity function, x. If f composed with g at x and g composed with f at x are both equal to the identity function, x, then f and g are inverses of each other and we can call g f inverse. Additionally, if we say that f of x equals y, then f inverse of y equals x, meaning the inputs and outputs switch places between the function and its inverse. Given the functions f of x equals 2x plus 1 and g of x equals 1 half x minus 1 half, we want to know if these are inverses of each other. We can find the two compositions f of g of x and g of f of x to see what happens. When I find f of g of x and simplify, I get x. This is a good sign. I should continue with the other composition. When I find g of f of x and simplify, I also get x. f of x and g of x are inverses. Now I'll take f of x to be x squared and g of x to be the square root of x. When I find f of g of x, I get x. Good news again. When I find g of f of x, I do not get x, but absolute value of x, since any number can go into the composition, but only positive versions are coming out. Notice too that the domain of f of g of x is different than g of f of x. Even though it looks promising, they are not inverses. We could, however, restrict the domain of f of x to be only positive numbers, and then we'd have the two functions match up. You can now determine whether or not two functions are inverses of each other, as well as simplify the function square root of x squared. You may like to use this skill to determine where it is best to restrict a domain in finding an inverse.